And now, our feature presentation. Music Madness, man! Only on Radio Heavey. Hey, what's up guys? This is Joel Consencio and you're listening to Music Madness on Radio Heatwave. In this week's segment, all the buzz surrounds the latest and hottest music festival to hit Singapore. St. Jerome Laneway Festival is back for the second year running. The festival was a blast with people of all ages turning up to witness the performances of many bands. Although the heat was sweltering, people turned up in large numbers to show support for many of the bands. Cults was the opening act and they kicked off the show and pleased the crowd with hits such as Abducted and Go Outside. Up next was Yuck, and they too pumped up the crowd with their nitty and gritty style of indie rock. Chairlift then brought the level down with their soothing yet catchy beats, while electronic band Austra was next and they got the crowd grooving with their manic dancing and operatic style of singing. Christopher Owens of Girls then performed an acoustic cover of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You in memory of the beloved legendary gospel singer who tragically died on the very same day. The drums then raised the tempo and drove the crowd crazy with their upbeat and fast style of music. Anna Kelvey was next and she lit up Fort Canning Park with her majestic and powerful voice. After her performance, it was evening already and the heat began to simmer. Twin Shadow brought on the style with their super cool dance moves, while Laura Marling's voice pleasantly soothed those who needed a break from the dancing. The Pains of Being Pure at Heart was next and they moved the crowd with their melodramatic style of music. Up next was Toro Imoa and they immediately got the crowd back on their feet dancing with their funky synthesizers. Veteran Feist then made an appearance on stage and she got some of the loudest cheers even before she started to perform. Then came the horrors and their music was so loud it could be heard all the way from Clark Key. Finally, M83 wrapped up Laneway Festival and boy, did they wrap up the festival with a bang. Overall, Laneway was amazing and the bands did not disappoint. The crowd was magnificent throughout and they duly participated and interacted with the bands at every opportunity that came their way. The only complaint I had was the terrible queues at the food and drink tents, but with good music and a good atmosphere to chill to, it didn't matter at all. This is Joel Consencio and you're listening to Music Madness only on Radio Heatwave. And now, our feature presentation. Music Madness, man! Only on Radio Heatwave.